we do depend on our radiologist colleagues to show us the area we have to remove if we can't feel it. Some surgeons actually are comfortable with ultrasound in the operating room. If it's something that can be seen with ultrasound, then the surgeon can use it as their guide to remove what they need to remove. It's very nice to be able to take out that tissue, do what we need to do to get the proper technique to use the ultrasound while the patient's asleep and say, well, that margin looks good and that margin looks good, but this is basically the same as an x-ray or an ultrasound from the radiologist. But we are at least saying, this feels close. Let's put that ultrasound on that tumor and let's see how the margin looks. The second thing is, is that in some operating rooms, we have what is a mini self-contained radiology device. It is shielded so that no one in the room gets radiated, like you're having a chest x-ray and everyone's getting, you know, everyone hide, you're gonna have the radiation. So, so it's a device, and there's several out there on the market that are made by different companies, where we actually can open the door, put the tissue in, close the door, it shields, we push on a button, and we get an x-ray of the tissue. I mark that tissue, I use different markings so that I know how it sits in the breast. And I will then reach in and I'll change the orientation of that tissue and get another x-ray. And by looking that in the operating room, I can say, okay, that's closest to the skin and I don't like how close those little areas are. I'm gonna take more. So I can use a radiation or a radiology machine, some equipment in the operating room to give me that extra information. The third thing that we can do is that we can actually get the pathologist to cut it up. That's only as good as what you can see grossly. They cannot do that frozen section that everybody says, well, let's just freeze it. They can't freeze it as well. There are some institutions in the United States that have different techniques but are unable to be done in other institutions because of just how they do what they do. Most of us do not freeze breast tissue because you have to think of that area of tissue that you're removing from the breast as kind of like a little ball. How are you going to freeze the entire surface of that ball and be comfortable that you've looked at everything and you don't get side effects or artifacts from the frozen or the freezing process? And that's the problem with breast tissue. When you take a piece of breast tissue, especially the fattier breast tissues, and you put it in a chemical and you freeze it and you try to slice it into very microscopically thin tissue pieces to be looked at under a microscope, you see artifact, you see overlapping of tissue, and it's not the best way to look at uh, a margin. So we can do a gross inspection, meaning with our naked eye, with the help of the pathologist, they've already painted it so they know how it sits in the breast. They've cut it up and they say, well, this looks and feels normal. I think you're okay. So the, the last thing is probably the newest instrument on the market, which is called the margin probe. And it uses a whole different type of technology. One that doesn't depend on freezing the tissue. One that doesn't depend on whether or not you can see what's on the surface and it doesn't depend on an X-ray or an ultrasound. It uses radio frequency spectroscopy. It's a fancy word for sending electrical signals into the tissue, and it reads the electrical signals that is made between the difference of a normal cell or a cancerous cell. And what we find on the device in the operating room is, you have a problem, it's positive. You don't have a problem, keep going. And we keep doing that till we think we've covered the surface of that piece of tissue that we've removed. Those are the ways that we can be more comfortable with our margins, still knowing that we still may end up with a positive margin, but at least we've, we've run through the gambit of what's available to us.